Our Cooking Show! and welcome back to the Wonder Dumb Artesian series. Today we're going to show you how to make a pizza, vegan pizza, from scratch. Now vegan means there's absolutely no dairy at all in this pizza. Now we went ahead and made a couple extra steps already before we started this thing and Chris has made a dough from scratch, mm -hmm. uh, a vegan, vegan dough. It's delicious. Black ale. Pairs, uh, this pizza, vegan pizza pairs uh, nicely with the black ale. I'm not actually going to eat the pizza today or even uh, participate in part of this production because I have a intolerance to gluten. And so if once you unwrap that baby, I'm going to put, be putting a mask yeah. on. I have this wrap because this does, this is bread flour, which is basically gluten flour. So, so I'm going to go ahead and gently peel well, this back. Not yet, not yet. Oh. Well, if you, do. You, tell, you tell me when we have the all clear and I'm going to peel yeah, this back. We'll do that a little bit later. Do we need to do that right now? We need to do it right now. Yep. So I've got to take this very serious. Yep. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hand toss this and then start pressing it into a um, cast iron skillet. That's the way I do it. Um, oh, you know what? we got to start this oven, too. Step, step number one is to go ahead and start the oven. Yeah. What do you preheat the oven to? 450. We preheat the oven to 450. Yeah, you want, you, you want to bake the f*** out of this. And uh, by getting the heat really hot, it's going to really give you a nice toasted crust. Okay, actually, before I unwrap that, I'm putting a little bit of olive oil. In the skillet, in cast the skillet. iron. Cast iron skillet, he's gonna put a little olive oil in there and like then a, he's gonna go ahead and put the dough in and knead the dough into shape. Like probably a silver dollar size or um, a wooden nickel, if you ever got a wooden nickel. So then I smear it around with the paper towel. And when it starts baking, it'll give it a nice golden finish. Okay, here comes the gluten. I'm yeah. unwrapping the gluten. That's getting tight. <clears throat> and I actually made enough dough for two zas, so I'm going to tear this in half. And I should have a hat on because he does have uh, exposed food. Do you have a beard? Shoot, like, sorry. is it? Because if you have a beard, you can get exposure to this. I'm uh, good. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is hand toss it. And it'll slowly expand out into a disc shape like that. And then I'm going to put it in the pan and then slowly start mashing it. We'll take a little break. I'm going to keep mashing this around and then we'll come back when it's ready. This is where I'm at right now. We're back. Okay, so I went ahead and mashed out the dough. Uh, it also expands in the oven, so it'll get a little thicker as it cooks in the oven. So we're ready to go. Next thing you want to do is add pizza sauce. So I'm going to spoon it out and then spoon it around. Oh, tomato paste. Yeah, tomato paste. And you have to do this to taste. You have to remember that if you use too much sauce, it's going to make your, uh, your pizza a little soggy. So kind of keep it thin, thin crust. Okay, you got the sauce in, I'm gonna start adding the veggies. Okay, what I like to do is get the spinach in first so it kind of covers up so it doesn't dry out. So you put some spinach in on top of the paste. Laying a fresh bed of spinach. Oh, see, that was delicious. Go ahead and show camera two that. Yeah. That looks really good. So it's getting really bright and colorful, pretty vibrant. Like Italy, so the Italian flag is white, red, and green. I don't know what that stands for. So while he's doing that, always remember to go ahead and wear something over your hat or your hair. Putting the shrooms in. In this case, we've got a hat on. You could wear a hairnet or a chef's hat. Put really? the mushrooms on top of the spinach. 
We should probably have something over my beard too. Normally you would wear a beard mask, but because it is a pizza he's going to enjoy, it's all right. Right. Okay, so I'm finishing up with the shrooms and the spinach, putting some green olives on. Oh, that's gonna be good. Yeah, get those mixed Add in. Add a little bit of bitterness to it. Yeah, a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Okay, now what I like to do is put a little extra sauce on top to keep it from drying out. At the Waffle House, they call it smothered and covered. It's kind of a similar principle. All right, and now I'm adding the bacon cheese. This is dairy and soy free. It's actually made from tapioca flour. It mel melts and stretches, absolutely delicious. All right, I add that on, it's good. Don't wanna put this on too thick, otherwise it won't melt. Just gonna keep a thin layer. And I'm ready to put it in the oven. Looks delicious. All right, get it all the way in there. Top shelf, heat rises. Keep it on the top. Twenty minutes. We're gonna cook over twenty minutes. All right, we're ready. We're pulling the. Uh, Vegan za out of the oven. I got my silicone gloves on. Looks good. Really good. We're done. Melted, stretches. Thanks for watching.